it's time for Zoilent. Welcome back to Spike's demos of his own cup. And we've got Spike versus Rainbow Shadow on Zoilent. It's gonna be a good one. Spike has put in chat, now I will suffer. Spike took the first map, go watch that if you didn't see it, because I will be referencing it. It will have been uploaded the day before this video comes out. Be in the same playlist, hopefully, so you should be able to find it fairly easily. Spike vs Rainbow Shadow on Quark. But yeah, Spike took that one. And now we're over... This is a best of five series, so Spike can't win it just yet. Even if he does uh, definitely not believe in his abilities on here, but should believe in him. Because that was a beautiful shot. He's only got nine health right now, but... Certainly a lot of little healths around this map that you can pick up. If you need them. Rainbow coming up behind, managing to get the hit onto Spike. Not enough, uh, not enough knockback to knock him off the edge, though. Spike taking the very dangerous route round, but manages to catch Rainbow Shadow off guard. Just can't quite land the shots to make it stick. And now Rainbow is getting about. Oh, beautiful shot from Spike. Finding the angles on this map is very important. But it's so is like not falling off the side, so, you know. It is a map in a bit of a different vein to Quark. It has, uh, so Quark has only 250 armors. This has two 100 armors. So, I think that balances out the sort of, you've got a lot of health. But you can just fall off the edge and just die instantly, so it, it balances itself out. Spike somehow surviving on three health. Managing to find a lot of damage onto Rainbow and find the Mega and take Rainbow out. Absolutely stunning. Finds him off the spawn, but he's not going to be able to catch him. Rainbow incredibly good at movement in this game. Spike just a little bit slower, but... A little bit slow is all you need when you know where you're going and your opponent doesn't. If you can be out the corner and go a different way than they thought you were going to go, you're gone. Beautiful direct rocket from Spike. But Rainbow managed to land a lot of Krylink shots there. Managed to do quite a lot of damage to Spike. Did go down. But yeah, managed to do quite a lot of damage. Spike again manages to make the frag. Rainbow just a few pixels away from picking up that Mega Armor. Oh sorry, Mega Health. And Spike connecting the shots together, connecting the frags. We're three minutes in and Spike has a commanding lead over this map. But all could change, of course. Rainbow should be able to survive. Oh, no, goes into the void there. Normally you can survive the, uh, the full knockback effect of that if you're prepared for it. Which really, if you're doing that, you should be prepared for... <laughs> For someone to just hit you with something off the edge of the map. But Rainbow seems to just take the death. And Spike's going to be hanging around for the armor. Has them on a nice little cycle. But it doesn't matter how much armor and health you've got. Again, out of the map. Spike goes. This is Rainbow Shadow's way back into the game. Because he is going to be able to rack up some frags. Pretty quickly together here by the looks of things. If anyone has a fix for the light maps being a bit balked, uh, I'd love to hear it, by the way. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm on the last auto build to have sound on Linux, if anyone uh, wants to know. Using default ultra settings with a few tweaks. Amazing. I'm loving these mid-air blaster hits. Placing them almost as if they are full on uh, full on hit scan weapons. But the blaster does have a movement time. Travel time. It is a quick projectile, but it does have a travel time. Spike going out of the map again. Just at the wrong time. Taking a jump. Getting hit. 
if you're on the ground when you get hit, that split second you are while you're just bunny hopping along. If you are on the ground, you won't take as much knockback. But if you're in mid-air, you are going to take quite a lot of knockback. The Vortex does give you quite a bit in this game. Nice shots from Spike. Trying to play the same game as he did on Quark from pretty much halfway through the game. Backpedaling, trying to hide, trying to keep control. But Rainbow Shadow should be able to push back onto this one. Doesn't have the uh, loss and is able to take control of the map. So Rainbow Shadow now has pretty good control over the map. Has tied up the game and should be able to bring this one back. Taking the lead up now. Spike with a bad spawn, Rainbow picking it up. Spike shouting die, but of course we know Rainbow's been picking up all of these Megas, all of these uh, Mega Armors, all the Mega Healths. Rainbow's going to be bloody stacked up, you know. Because, like I said earlier, the balance of this map to having a lot of health is that you can fall off with a lot of stack at any time, and that's what swung the match right now. That's what swung it back into Rainbow's favour. Spike was... Uh, very well stacked, couldn't be killed, knocked off the side of the map, boom, no health. Doesn't matter how much health you've got, you're going down in the void. Well, technically you can survive the void because the void just does damage, but it does an increasing amount of damage uh, until it's doing all of the health that you can possibly have in this game. So it's not possible to overgen it, I don't think. You know a lot of funny stuff with this game though. Max health is a variable you can just set. So... Spike has managed to work his way back into this game. Evens it up. This is going to be a pretty close game. We have three minutes left. Neither player has control right now. Uh, we have both of them knowing the timings on the items. Rainbow obviously not able to make it over to that Mega, but he should know it because he knew it from before and the timing's going to be the same because Spike just picked it up. Knowing this Mega Armor and going up that jump pad is really risky, but it is one of the only ways to get up there uh, besides going all the, all the way around. And if you want to contest the item, you've kind of just got to go up there. Hope that your opponent's not looking your way with a vortex ready to knock you off the side of the map. Spike, using the fact that Xenotic has very low fall damage. Um, or very, You have to fall from very high to take fall damage in this game. So, you can just kind of, bla like, you can blast her off the top of this, fall all the way down and take no fall damage, I think. Like hoping that Rainbow's going to come up. They both go up together. And only Rainbow goes back down. Spike off the edge of the map. Again, such good stack. But down off the edge of the map. Not going to do you any good. Spike puts the pot shots in. Rainbow's taking a lot of damage here. Spike not so much. But Spike's not able to finish him in two direct hits from Rainbow. And picking up that Mega Armor is going to put him in a very nice position. Comes up on Spike. Spike doesn't have the Vortex to be able to make quick hits across. Now we have a tied game with a minute left. Rainbow taking the lead up now. Spike's going to have to do something fast, and unfortunately for him, that means taking fights before he's able to pick up the items, which just like that goes down. And it, it, look, he's, he's having to take a fight. Like, this is how it goes when you're down to the last 40 seconds of a game and you are behind. You have to just pick up the first weapon you've got and take a fight. And if you see your opponent before you've picked up a weapon, you have to just take a fight. Which, yeah. <laughs> Looks like this one's going to Rainbow, though. Both players played incredibly well. This is a much closer game than I thought it was going to be after Spike 
said that it was time to suffer. Uh, swinging back and forth both ways, which is the way of a map where you fall off the edge with all your health and you can just go. Very difficult to keep control. But congratulations to Rainbow Shadow. We're going into the third match. This is a best of five. We'll come back for that either tomorrow, if you're watching this the day it's uploaded, or it's already here, and go watch it now. Thank you very much for the... See you in the next one.